let me guess, you just keep trying to play Apex Legends and you keep getting nothing but crash after crash after crash. And that's why you're here on YouTube looking for a fix for the problem, right? No worries, we're gonna see if we can fix that for you today. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer, I do have an AMD Ryzen 9 3950X coupled with an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti. And currently I'm on driver version 445.87, the latest as of this video for my graphics card. So if you're a Radeon user like a 5700 XT or an RX 580, or you're an Intel user like a 9700K or a 9900K, this video may not apply to you, but as I don't have any Intel or Radeon hardware to test with, I can't really verify that. So let's look at some settings and see if these will work for you. I, I, you. <laughs> The first place that we're gonna check settings is gonna be in Origin itself. You're gonna to wanna to find Apex Legends, you're gonna right click on it, you're gonna to go to Game Properties. Inside of Game Properties, you're gonna look at this box that says Enable Origin In-Game for Apex Legends. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna uncheck that box. By default, it should be checked. Next, you're gonna click on Advanced Launch Options. Now, under command line arguments, you're gonna put plus sign FPS underscore max space 120. This is subject to change depending on your hardware. Like if you have budget hardware, like a 1050 Ti, you might change that to 60 instead of 120. But I keep it at 120 because I stream and it's a division of 1080p 60 FPS. Once you've made those changes, you're gonna go ahead and click the save button. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here and click on origin and go to application settings. Now, under application settings, I have my notifications pretty much like all my friends activity turned off just because if I'm streaming or even if I'm playing, I don't wanna see someone sign in or out or uh, start a game that's not related to what I'm playing or quitting a game or broadcasting or stop broadcasting. So I just turn all that off. As you can see, I leave everything else on. So go ahead and leave that stock. And the next thing is you're gonna go to origin in game. Now, if you notice, enable origin in game, I have disabled. So go ahead and disable that. And that's pretty much all you need to do here. Once you've made those changes, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go ahead and click on my game library and go ahead and click on Apex Legends. And then you're gonna click on play. Once you're completely in the game, you're gonna go down to the bottom right and you're gonna click on settings. And then you're gonna click on settings again. Under settings, you're gonna click on video. And this is where I have my settings set. Now, if you scroll down here and look, you'll see that everything's pretty much maxed out. And I haven't been getting any crashes. So these are settings I would say that you probably wanna mirror. Go ahead and go to display mode, set it to borderless window. Now I'm not gonna tell you to change your aspect ratio or your resolution. Play those at whatever your native is. So if you play at 2560 by 1440, play at that. If you play on something else like 4K or whatever, play on that. Um, brightness, I left that stock. Field of view, I put to 100. Sprint view shake, I set to minimal. V-Sync I have disabled because I have a G-Sync monitor, so there's not really a reason for me to use it. Adaptive Resolution FPS Target I have set to 100. Adaptive Super Sampling I have disabled. My Anti-Aliasing I have set to TSAA. Texture Streaming Budget is set to 8 gig VRAM. Now if you have a budget system, like for instance a 1050 Ti or a 5500, 5600, or even like a 2060, for example, then you might wanna come over and change this to like maybe high or medium, with high being the most. It's whatever your PC can really run. Ambient occlusion, I have set to high. Sun shadow coverage, sun shadow detail, I have set to high. 
Spot shadow detail is very high. Volumetric lighting is enabled. Dynamic spot shadows is enabled. Model detail, high. Effects detail, high. Impact marks, high. Ragdolls, high. Once you're done changing all of that, go ahead and click the apply button. And that's pretty much it for the end game settings. Again, set them to what your PC can do. If you're on a lower end system, you might want to set everything to low or at the highest medium instead of high or very high. Try those out and see if that helps you any. If anything, it's just going to help the game run better. I think one of the main things that you really want here is for your adaptive resolution FPS target to be set to 100. And the reason why I say that is because whatever you have your refresh rate set to, so like say 120, 144, or even if it's just 60 and you can't change it, at the very least, you're gonna be getting 100% of that all the time. From here, you can go ahead and close out of the game because we're done with our settings in game. After you've closed out the game, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna find your r5apex.exe file. This is the file that runs Apex Legends when you click the play button here in Origin. Now, by default, I think it should be under C, Program Files x86, Origin Games, and then it might be under like Apex or Apex Legends. I don't have it here though, so for me, it's not there. It's under F, Games, Origin, Apex, and this is the file you're looking for, r5apex.exe. You're gonna right click on it, you're gonna left click on properties, you're gonna left click on the compatibility tab, and you're gonna check this box right here that says disable full screen optimizations. That's all you need to do here, click apply, and then click okay. Once you've done that, the next thing you wanna do is completely close out of origin. So at the bottom right, go ahead and right click on origin, and then click quit origin. Wait for it to completely close out at the bottom right. Once it's gone, you're gonna double click on easy anti-cheat. You're going to right click on easy anti-cheat underscore setup, click on run as administrator, and then you're gonna click the repair service button. Once it's done, go ahead and click finish. And that's pretty much it. That should be all you have to do. Like I said, I made all of these changes on the latest NVIDIA driver 445.87 and I played in the last two days for about six hours total and didn't experience one crash. Now I will make a little side note and it's something I forgot to include. If when you go to the r5apex.exe and you right click go to properties and go to the compatibility tab and check the box for disable full screen optimizations. After you do that and reopen the game, your game might open in windowed mode. It's not a big deal. Just go back to your settings, go to the video properties and make sure you set it back to full screen windowed mode. All right, and one last thing guys, if you really like this content and you wanna see more like it in the future, then go ahead and head over to my Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash zombieface. Scroll down and click on the tip me button I currently have a fundraiser going on to buy a 5700 XT so that I can throw it in my computer and start playing around with it and see if I can find some of the same settings or settings in general with the latest drivers that will fix this issue so that people can get stability in the game and be able to play it on a regular basis. I hope that for anyone watching that the settings that I showed you here today will also fix the issues with your game. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. If it didn't, I do have another video, which I'm pretty sure will help. And I've gotten some feedback saying it does. I'll go ahead and link that up here. <laughs> and essentially it's downgrading your NVIDIA driver back to an older version. The only problem with that is that if you're playing newer games, it may not work with those games. But I guess it just really depends on how much you play Apex Legends. If that's your main game, there's no reason to just not run an older driver if that's mainly all you play anyway. Once again, this has been Ask a Nerd TV. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.